So I've already started, I, I was on the phone and just started working. So I'm stuck out here in the heat in this storage yard. But let me tell you all uh, how I'm upgrading this trailer. So in this video, we went to Northern and we bought this 10 inch electric brake drum kit. It is a part number 56125. And you see it's a bolt on kit. It has your flange uh with just really just bolt on and go you already see you got your your wires you have your nut or your studs so that uh this axle had just our hub like this and i can't remember the proper name but if you look them up it's um there's a different name for one with brakes and without and it's super simple all you do is you take this hub off with removing your axle nut which i'm going to access you move your axle nut you or you move your cotter pin then you remove your axle nut and it slides off I clean my grease. There's a flange behind here and there's four bolts. It just slides in and you just install these nuts. And the nuts were actually 16 millimeters. I torqued them down just with a regular ratchet, cleaned all my old grease off, made sure there's a light coating here. And next your drum comes pre-packed. This is Marine grease. I'm going to uh, put my high temp grease in it too, but they should be compatible. The biggest thing is I'm going to wipe some of my grease off the back here. I don't want to risk getting any grease on my shoes and just make sure there's a little thin layer of grease on that seal so we don't burn it out. Other than that, we're going that's the kind of caught up where we are. Some of the other things we're going to, have to do, we're going to have to adjust our brakes. This is our adjuster and we're going to have to hook up our brake wiring. So the kit did come with i think this is a hundred foot of brake wiring which i'll show y'all we have a junction box here that we remove two screws and we'll hook up our positive and negative on both sides so we are the hardest part of this is probably going to be just running the wiring uh i think that pretty much catches y'all up i do got a jack stand under frame i have a jack just to get the tire off and let, let's keep on marching. So I was cleaning the grease off the seal, like I said. Had a little grease on the side. Just want to make sure we don't contaminate our brake shoes. And one thing I noticed, so I'm having this back brake doesn't lock anymore. I, I can't get it locked up. We're going to throw a whole nother set of um, backing plates on it. But now I'm wondering if it's the, the magnet surface. Because my surface on my drum isn't nowhere near as flat as this one. So we slid our drum on. Just make sure when you're sliding your drum on, you keep your finger on this bearing so you don't slide it off. We will have to reuse our washer. Oh, whew, I almost dropped that straight in the dirt. So let me use two hands, but we're going to install our washer and our nut. I'm going to clean maybe a little bit of dirt that got on here. And then we'll start our torquing and backing off like you do normal trailer brake bearings. So the best tool I have is these... Uh, was the adjustable pliers and just grabbed it tighten it as much as i could use the screwdriver to rotate it so it's nice and tight now what we'll do we'll take it and we'll loosen it and then what we're going to do is of course while I keep while spinning it we'll run it in just finger tight and then we got to find our holes which one is right there and running that finger tight while spinning it i'll see if it um if it lines up if it doesn't then we'll back it off one notch and install our carter pin all right guys i just greased this axle i'm going to adjust the brakes i got the cotter pin in we got the everything on we got our cover we just greased it i'm doing a tool review on this milwaukee if you're interested and i need two hands because i don't want to get grease everywhere i'm already using up towels like crazy we still got to hook up our trailer brakes and adjust on this side and then we'll be done so earlier in the video, I told you I'll show you what your flange looks like. Just a four bolt flange here. And here's your brake pad, brake assembly. Literally, this is how it comes out the box. All right, it comes with the studs. All you gotta do is move your wires and slip it on. You got a package. We'll have all your hardware in it. As I said earlier, it's a 16 millimeter. And I think the instructions said between 45 and 70 foot pounds. So I'm gonna slip this on and uh torque this down so we got it torqued down pretty easy uh, got the extendo ratchet was able to put a little extra torque on those with ease 
So I'm gonna grab the drum now and reverse everything we said before. Remember, we're gonna to to need the washer and our nut. And we'll get ready to torque down and cotter pin this drum and then get to our wiring. We have all our wiring ran. I went ahead and did the dark wires because I had a black wire. I went brown over here, which is our positive. And I went white with white here, which is the yellows. Really doesn't matter. The magnets are, um, you can reverse the polarity. It doesn't matter. So that is wired. We're going to put our cover on. Let me try to bend down here so you can see my, my wiring. I just ran it down and zip tied it under the angle iron. And you can see on the frame, I ran it across. And then that's it, that's gonna work for now. I gotta redo all the wiring on this trailer. I, we're gonna do big trips like this, it has to be better.